So this is the current state of me. It is Sunday morning, it's like half past nine and I'm on my reds, my stomach's hurting, my skin's breaking out, but it's Sunday. I do love a Sunday. And I have no makeup on, which is such a big step for me because I've literally got my filming light on, no makeup, just woke up looking puffy, swollen, not the best, but I don't really care. I just don't care. So that's a good sign. Um, so today I'm doing a Sunday vlog. So this is what I do on a typical Sunday to kind of reset and just chill out before I head back to work. So I've got a few updates that I'm gonna be talking to you guys about in this video. I've got a new job, which is really exciting, but also very tiring. Um, so talking about the realities of having a nine to five and moving up in my responsibilities. Also gonna talk a bit about PMSing because I feel like my symptoms when my period is on its way are getting a little bit more intense. Um, so yeah, just like living with PMS symptoms, it's not fun. Obviously, Sunday begins with an S and you know what else does? Self-care. So I feel like Sunday is a great day for self-care before heading back to work because it's just a chance to just pamper yourself, make yourself feel good and just in a good headspace before the week starts. Hello guys, Edge Team Megan here. Completely forgot to mention that a key part of this video is trying on some naked fashion clothing um, as my Sunday outfit. They've kindly sent me some videos to share in this video and you can actually get discount code if you check out my description. So if you like this type of content, please let me know. Vlogs, I don't do many of, but I am actually really enjoying them. And you can subscribe here if you do like my content and want to see more. So I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea, grab myself a banana for health, potassium, energy that I need, especially at this time. By the way, this is the best thing ever. So I got it for Christmas I think for my mom was it Christmas and when I tell you I literally don't take it off like I do have a bad addiction with hot water bottles which we don't need to talk about but the fact that I don't have to like just hold it constantly are you kidding I'll link it down below and then this Udi as well it's literally a match made in heaven especially when you're on your reds and you're not feeling great and you're having a lazy day what else would you want to wear apart from this? <laughs> but let's make a cup of tea. So this is one thing I never know. Is my tea class as really pale? I used to have it a lot milkier, but I feel like a lot of people now have it a similar colour to me. But it used to be a thing where like I'd be made fun of for having my tea basically like milk. Maybe I'm getting better. I usually say like match it to my skin, but like I've got a tan. That literally is my skin with a tan, so I feel like that's a good comparison. So I decided to do my makeup at the table instead. Fun fact, I usually have a coffee, but because I'm going out for brunch soon, I'll be having a coffee. Actually, no, I'll be having a hot chocolate there. So I actually use Max Strobe Cream as my primer, which isn't actually a primer, but it's the only thing that seems to be really good on my skin. Um, I don't support MAC and like animal testing, so I actually just buy this from people on Vintage because then I feel a bit better that the money's just going to someone who wasn't going to use it as opposed to like directly buying it from the brand. You may believe or you may not believe that that's a way around it, but I personally do. So that's the way that I get any products that I like not cruelty free. So while that's settling into my skin, I do my brows with this got to be, they've got their own like eyebrow thing now. Does anyone else watch YouTube on a mashed up iPad while they get ready? Because I do it every morning before work. I'll just watch some random YouTube videos. I've been watching Ellen and Neil's crime series and I love it, it's just such a great, I mean, it's not really the vibe for a morning hearing about death, but something about it, it's just so good. So today I'm going for brunch with my uni friends, which will be really nice. We're going to Medicine Bakery, which is somewhere I've been about five times in the past, like three months, and I'm not mad about it. It's so nice in there. I'll show you what I get, although my food doesn't always look that appetizing, but I promise you it's the best thing ever. So this is my favorite foundation ever. It's Born This Way by Too Faced. It's such a nice, like medium to full coverage makes your skin look like skin really dewy and glowy but also not i think it's like is it demi matte i don't know when it's in the middle of like dewy and matte so i feel like this is where the real catfishing starts um especially once i go into concealer that's when i just start to look unrecognizable <laughs> no more recently i feel like i've actually perfected my makeup routine but the only thing that ruins it is my glasses because now I am a glasses full-time wearer so if you have any tips please help I've tried this thing now as well for creasing under your eyes I love how I'm talking about it when I'm not even doing it yet where you basically put one powder on which can be compact or well pressed or loose and then you put the other one on after so one pressed one loose or one loose one pressed and it actually has made my under eyes look flawless um so I'll move on to that in a minute but damn Anyway, PMS. 
if you don't know what PMS is, uh, it's postmenstrual syndrome or symptoms. I actually don't know which one it is. Um, and I've been noticing mine a lot more recently. Also, this is just lip stain and don't worry, it won't stay this color because it looks mad. So yeah, I mainly used to just have symptoms when it was the day of my period starting and that would just be like horrendous stomach cramps were the main thing I'd get and occasionally I'd get a headache too. Um, and then within like the first day or two, the cramps would go and it'd just be like, obviously having a period, which I don't enjoy. Like I'd rather not, I hate being a woman. But yeah, like within a day or two, the worst part would be over basically. But now I'm PMSing like two, three days before my period comes and that's how I know it's coming because I'll get a headache which is usually a migraine and it just lingers and lingers and lingers and like last time I had my period I threw up like six times in a day because of my migraine and I was like what is going on so I've read this thing about like rose hip tea that's meant to be helpful also I do like a much lighter concealer on the inner inner parts of my um concealer so I use two different shades and then I also put it here but I don't really tend to put it in any other area I might put like a dot as I put it here um but it's mainly to lighten my eyes and snatch my nose and it definitely does that this is just the um pro conceal by LA girl I've used the same thing for years love it um, but yeah like I've heard like this rose hip oil no ro rose tea or something can help with PMS symptoms so I'm going to look into it because now that I'm going to be working in the office five days a week I don't know how the hell I'm going to be able to go in if I'm having really bad PMS symptoms like I, I won't be able to do anything um so yeah, that's another fun part of being a woman and growing up. So yeah, your girl has got a new job. Really excited. And it's so funny because this job I applied for on the very last day of applications. And I'd seen it like posted as soon as it went up, really. It'd been up for like a few weeks. And I was like, that's not for me. Like it's too out of my comfort zone. And it was in like sports, um, like communications for sports. And obviously I don't come from a sporting background and I just kind of ruled it out and thought there's no way like I don't have the expertise or the passion for sport, so it wouldn't work. And now here I am in the role, loving it. <laughs> so it just shows like, just go for something, even if you're not 100% sure. Like if you have the skill set, you don't necessarily have to be an expert in whatever you're talking about, especially in comms, like in communications, you can just apply your knowledge to pretty much anything. It's more, are you able to write? Are you able to understand your audience? There's so much to it. Um, but I, yeah, great people, great job. And it just, I kind of feel like, you know when you have like a I made it moment and you're doing a job that you really love but you also have a lot of confidence in it. I feel like that's the best feeling um, ever. But I'm just trying to like adjust to not, cause when I used to work from home, I'd have a lot of time on my lunch breaks and like straight after work to be making content and focusing on my side hustle. Cause there is a lot of other stuff I do on the side like content, um, brand deals, all that sort of stuff. And I just haven't had, had as much time to do it. I only have my weekends, but then I want to see friends and stuff. And I also want to have a chill weekend and not do anything. So yeah, it, I'm just going to be real, like getting a nine five, especially in the office can be very intense, but it's crazy how quickly your body adjusts to it. Because when I first started it, I was like, this is crazy. Like, how am I going to be able to do this? And now I'm just kind of used to it. And I don't dread getting up tomorrow. At, it's going to be like half six tomorrow. No, earlier. I've got to be up to film some sunset yoga. So my job is great. Um, but yeah, that's just a little update on my new job. Uh, I am doing my cheek stain from the body shop, which again, I've used for years. I don't know if I will end up going back to um, powder blush or not. So I'm gonna bring you in for this part. So this is what I use. This is just an MUA really cheap powder, which actually is incredible. Um, so I literally just put it under my eyes actually I'm going to insert a picture showing what my makeup looked like with back flash on um with this powder method because it's the best my makeup's ever looked and I just felt amazing this was my birthday makeup um and now I basically do it every day I mean I don't wear foundation every day but I do the concealer thing every day then I'll take my banana powder and this will go everywhere this stops creases under your eyes so if you struggle with that and also it does kind of help a bit with my glasses marks. They take longer to form. And I also powder my glasses as well, like the bit that sits on like this area. It helps for a bit, but then I'm doomed ultimately. <laughs> I'm gonna fill my brows in just a little bit. And I sometimes do faux freckles, which I'll do today. I'm gonna clean up my lids, as I said. So I'm going to do my nose contour next with this palette that my best friend bought me about, it literally has to be like 10 years ago. It will be out of date, but I don't care. 
the one side of my nose is really easy to contour like it goes right every time the other side isn't which is this side like I think because I've got a bone in a bit of a weird place it's hard to like get over the bone I actually really like how I contour my nose to be honest and how I highlight it I get a lot of compliments on how I highlight it but I think for some people it might be too much I don't know setting spray from NYX I love this stuff so much so that I got the massive £20 bottle from ASOS. Don't regret it. Also, I did my nails yesterday. Um, nice French tip shellac. I've been teaching myself how to do shellac and for some reason it peels off me really quickly even though I do all the prep like to the T. Sometimes I'll do it on a Saturday, sometimes a Sunday depending on if I have plans and how much time I've got on the day. Highlighter is very cheap from Wet n Wild. Again, I haven't changed it in years because that's why it is so good. But then on my cheekbones, I do a liquid highlight from Sleek. Um, and it's so, I don't need much, so I literally just take it from the side of the bottle. Like, I've never actually had to get a drop from it, which basically means it's going to last me about 500 years. So I go with Charlotte Tilbury's Lip Cheat in shade Hot Gossip for my liner. And then I'm going in with Heat by Fenty Beauty for a nice, slightly darker gloss. And that is my makeup done. I think it looks really good. My eyes always look so droopy nowadays. It's just part of aging. So please don't mind my hair. I have not done it yet. Um, I'm going to be putting a hair piece in, but I thought there's no point until I've tried on my naked fashion pieces because otherwise my hair is just going to end up being an absolute wreck. <laughs> but yeah, me and naked fashion at this point, I like this. Like, they are spoiling me like every week at this point. Um, so it's only fair that I show you guys the amazing pieces they've given me. So let's get into it. So my filming light bulb has just broke. The whole light just fell on the floor and the bulb is well and truly detached and they're not cheap so and i was going to film my nighttime routine but i might just have to quickly reorder another bulb and film that on another night because to be honest i do self-care most nights and it's a pretty similar routine so we're just gonna have to pretend it's still today so this is the package um i did get some kind of more work related things because as i've mentioned i'm in the office five days a week so i wanted some more nice clothes to be wearing to work so the first thing that I got are these trousers, which are just some like work trousers. They're just black, but they're high waisted. And I feel like when you have a good pair of black smart trousers, they just become like a staple in your wardrobe and everyone needs them, especially those that are in office jobs. So I'll be trying these on with, I ordered the prettiest red top. I don't really wear red, but I've been told it's my color. So it's like a V-neck red top. And I feel like for work, that's gonna look so, so cute. I can't get over my hair, it looks so bad. Um, but yeah, it's like a lovely V-neck. And I feel like I just need some pops of color in my wardrobe. I always say this, but let's try those on. So this is the top and I'm in love. I feel like with a big chunky black scarf, especially in this weather, because it is still freezing. This is just the perfect pop of colour. It's such a nice red. By the way, I've realised how much of a mess my apartment looks, but I feel like we're being realistic on this channel and it's a Sunday, like I haven't cleaned yet. These trousers are so flattering and so comfortable. If you know me, you know that I really struggle with trousers because I've got like my waist goes in and a lot of the time trousers won't cater towards that. I'm kind of very petite on my top half. And then here my thighs, my bootay, they all get a bit bigger. These fit so, so nice and they kind of have a bit of cinching here and they're just perfect. Let me move back a bit more. I don't know if you can see anything. I will link everything below and you can actually get some money off with my discount code, which I will put on the screen and I will also put it in the caption to let you know when it expires because it won't last forever. So get your goodies now while you can. Let's move on to the next top. So I opted for a corset, which is very different for me. I don't really wear corsets, but I wanted something that was a bit exciting that I could wear with my new beloved black cargos or with like some suit trousers like this. And it did not disappoint. This is the back, which I can't actually see. <laughs> so like this with a little blazer or like a little crop denim jacket, especially when it gets warmer, obviously not at the moment, <laughs> but like a nice going for cocktails, going for drinks. Probably not food because of the stunning, but um, it is so pretty. The colour is gorgeous. Also, do you like my new cherry belly bar? I'm obsessed with it. Um, but yeah, obviously I had to go for brown because brown is where it's at still. I'm still obsessed with brown. Um, and yeah, it'll just go with a lot of things in my wardrobe. But it's very flattering as well. I'm actually going to try this on with the coat. So this is the colour of the coat. And I don't have any light coats. 
like light light coats and I really want to make my outfits look a bit less black <laughs> because all my outerwear is literally black and I was like you know what I need something that's just not and I've already tried this on I can't lie I was too excited and I just feel like it's the best thing ever so it's literally just a long trench coat I'm going to be wearing this out today um, but I think I'm going to wear one of my naked fashion jumpers just because it's so cold um, so yeah I was thinking of wearing these trousers this coat and then this naked fashion jumper which i absolutely love and of course the colors go together really well um so it's gonna have to be that one but yeah i just you can wear this with a work fit you can wear it on an evening and it keeps your outfit sophisticated and nice and dressed up all down so if you need a trench coat this one is where it's at you'll save a fair bit on this for my discount code as well okay so i've got one more top to show you so yeah, I absolutely love everything that I've chosen, but like I said, I'm going to go with my Naked Fashion jumper just to ensure that I am warm because it is very, it's like five degrees today. And I've got to walk to brunch, which means I'm going to be walking for like half an hour. <laughs> to experience we have the last minute manic rush because i literally have two minutes to leave yet i'm filming um i did think i was gonna have to get an uber because i was running a little bit late but then i was like i want to walk so bad as you can see i've got my coat on this is just so realistic isn't it rushing about is always me this is my hair as well it actually went really nice um looks really natural which is great so it's just an over bag which i think looks great with basically everything um, and then I've got a black scarf that I'm going to wear to keep my neck warm. Stomach's hurting a little bit from cramps, but I'm just going to walk my way through the cramps. This is the biggest rush of my life. Okay, probably not of my life, but I'm going to be late. Which kind of annoys me because I don't like being late, but I usually am. <laughs> and then earmuffs. Okay, I've got to leave. Okay, so I'm on my way. Um, I'm really annoyed because I know that I'm gonna be late and I feel like I got up so early so I could do the vlog and not rush, but I think because I was having to like tidy up after myself and everything, it's just, it's too much. Look how much it's iced over, it's disgusting. But it only seems to be in that area like it's just an ice trap. But yeah, so my two uni friends are coming up and one's from Lem, Lemington one's from London and I'll be the one that's late and I'm the one that bloody lives here so it's just annoying I'm obsessed with my nails, they're so cute <laughs> putting this in my YouTube video by the way I've dragged out my boyfriend to get content of me in front of this door. So I've officially just got back and it is half past three. So I've been out for about three and a half hours. To be honest, this is quite a, not hectic Sunday, but I don't tend to do that much on a Sunday. But yeah, I wanted to do like a mini haul of what I've got in town. I didn't get too much. It wasn't a shopping spree or anything. I'm not actually that into shopping, to be honest, unless it's online. So I got myself another Tangle teaser because the one I've had, I've had it for so long that the bristles are just so bent. But I was a bit annoyed because I didn't have like a black one or like just a more mature colour. It was all just like pinks, blues. So not the most aesthetic, but we move. Um, I also got a wet brush because I tried my friends like years ago and it's so good. Like for in the shower because I have the most tangly hair ever. Like I've got afro hair, it's high porosity, it's a nightmare. But this works wonders. So they did have a black one of this, which I was happy about. So I got that. I got this, which is head and shoulders, new, like itchy dry scalp thing, because I do suffer with that a lot. Finally, I got me and my boyfriend some pastries from the Medicine Bakery, which I took a little clip of. I got him this big like cronut thing. It's like Nutella filled cronut. And I got myself like a chocolate vegan cookie which is really chunky. <laughs> Hello guys, I'm back with a ball, but this one seems to be noisier, so I'll probably film this video, return it and get another one because I'm just not having much luck. 
Um, but I'm back and it's actually next Sunday, so this has worked pretty well because I can still accurately show you what my nighttime reset self-care routine is. So what is a self-care day without a face mask? It was recently my birthday, so I've been gifted quite a lot of face masks. Um, I do have to be careful because I am sensitive to some ingredients, but I think I'm going to go with the simple one today. Um, this is a hydrating sheet mask, so I will put that on, get some moisture in my skin because winter, drier skin. And I've also got a foot pack as well. I bloody love these. So this is an argan oil one sock pack and you leave it on for like 20 minutes if you've never used one before. And afterwards your feet just feel amazing and all the excess moisture you just massage into your feet and oh my God, amazing. And then I'm gonna be having a bath because I love a little soak and I always put Jane the Virgin on for some reason. Um, my boyfriend's so sweet. He always brings in like a little end table, puts the laptop up so I can just sit in the bath, soak and watch. Another tip I have for like when I have baths because I just wanna like chill. I won't usually shave in a bath, I'll shave in the shower because I feel like shaving in a bath makes a bath feel like a chore. So save your like shaving hair wash days for when you're going in the shower. And then on a Sunday, just focus purely on relaxation. Also that raspberry leaf tea that I was speaking about earlier in the video, because it's a week later, I ordered it and I've received it. Um, and it's actually not bad, like I don't like herbal tea and this is literally one of the best ones I've ever had. It doesn't have a horrible aftertaste or anything and it smells pretty nice. So if you are someone who wants something for PMSing, and you don't like herbal tea, this might not be so bad for you. But let's take my makeup off. Usually on a Sunday, if I have no plans, I won't wear any makeup. Um, it's a great opportunity to just, you know, have a day off. I'm wearing it every day at the moment because of work. So, so yeah, it's just a great opportunity to let my skin breathe. Um, I'll usually just do my skincare, leave on like some SPF face cream. Goopy, so goopy. I used to actually hate face masks from fact they used to really like irritate me as in I didn't like the feeling of having them on felt like I couldn't breathe which is odd but I actually think I look way more attractive in a face mask is anyone else the same I feel like it's because it hides some of the features that you don't necessarily like as much so that would make sense hey groovy girlies so we are in my bathroom you can actually see my door the explorer head over there <laughs> so i realized doing a foot mask before a bath makes no sense because i'm putting moisture into my feet to then soak my feet and i think it makes sense to do it the other way around so i'm gonna run a bath I so yeah awful cleaning an apartment when you get your own you'll soon realize that it is a nine to five on top of your nine to five so that is occurring on all the mirrors um anyway i found this which I don't know where it's from, I have no idea, but I like the colour. It's one of my few coloured ones, so we're going to go with this. Also, need to put you on this, it's called Without the Wick. It's the best smelling thing ever. Like, if you like strong, sweet scents that last forever, I will put in the description because, oh my god, great present. just love dragging their bath bomb about even though you're technically not really meant to so yeah this is literally what i do in the bath sit soak and watch jane the virgin usually watch about an episode i think it's like half an hour i don't even know investing in a robe is also a great idea if you are a self-care lover it just makes you feel a lot more luxury as if you're in a hotel this one is from ikea and it's like a towel consistency so whenever i get out of the bath or shower i don't use a towel i literally shove this on i like to air dry mainly and then i'll just use a towel after i've been in this for like 10 minutes um but it's just so nice you can feel comfortable but you're also drying at the same time so i've got a fresh set of pajamas these are my favorite they are actually lounge underwear which I got as a Valentine's present last year. And yeah, they're amazing. So I get into those, get nice and cozy. And I'll also clean the dry parts of my body with this cream, which is really good. I am back. I've got my foot pack on. This is the first time I've had pattern ones on and I am not mad. Um, taking off the hair because, oh my God, my head needed a break. Um, so I'm reading this book at the moment, which is called The Mountain Is You. And it was something that was recommended on TikTok. 
um, if you are someone who struggles with self-confidence, anxiety, self-worth, that type of thing. And maybe if you're going through especially like a new experience, for example, I've got a new job and I just wanted that confidence in myself and that self-love to know that there's a reason that I was given the job, even if it is out my comfort zone. So yeah, fully recommend this. I read about five pages a night, so not too much, but just get my mind in a positive headspace before I go to sleep. But that is the end of my routine. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe and also use my discount code, which is on the screen. And I'll put the expiry date in the description for Naked Fashion and save yourself some coin because why not? But um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.